Hi, and welcome to J.D. Edwards Orchestrator Solutions, presented by Grant Thornton. Today, we will be discussing a use case where we use Groovy scripting to connect to a SQL database from Orchestrator Studio. My name is Anthony Palmasano, and I'm an experience manager at Grant Thornton. I specialize in automation, process improvement, and implementation. I work hand in hand with our development team to design and build enhancements in J.D. Edwards Orchestrator Studio. And I'm joined today by one of our developers, Shravan Vijay. Shravan, please introduce yourself. Thanks, Anthony. Hello, my name is Shravan Vijay, and I am a technical lead at Grant Thornton. I specialize in automation, implementation, upgrade, support and integrations. We here collaborate to develop solutions, integrate, design, and build enhancements in JD. Okay, thanks, Shravan. Today, we're gonna discuss a use case, like I mentioned, about um, connecting to a SQL database via a Groovy scripting and JD Edwards Orchestrator Studio. The business requirements to accomplish this or what we needed to fulfill were, uh, one, create sales and service orders in a third-party system, which was Salesforce. We needed to transmit those orders to JD Edwards and receive a response back to Salesforce. We also have to maintain master data within JD Edwards by also transmitting it to Salesforce for use during order entry. We needed to integrate transactional and master data from JD Edwards and Salesforce to a Microsoft SQL database, which also has a customer portal that sits on top to allow the customers to view their orders. And finally, we had to do implement error handling throughout. So Shravan, how did we accomplish this? We have built automations to communicate, transfer, and store data between three systems, primarily the Salesforce, JD, and Microsoft SQL database. To achieve this, we have leveraged the native Salesforce APIs along with JD orchestrations as the middleware and Microsoft SQL database. We have built custom programs and interfaces along with standard applications with live tables to retrieve the required information from Salesforce and update to JD as well as MS SQL database using JD orchestration components and complex group scripts. The integration successfully queries and transfers data sets across the data and the integrity was maintained across all three systems efficiently. So we used the SQL libraries within a custom Groovy script request to call the SQL database to make inquiries and updates. Well, that's pretty slick. We were not Salesforce experts at the beginning of this project. Their API documentation is exhaustive to dive into, but we were ultimately able to find the right calls to make. What other learning opportunities did we encounter, Shravan? We have leveraged the extensive API documentation, as Anthony has mentioned here, to come across the multiple field mappings, the various API methods to have the data sets retrieved from Salesforce and integrate between these three systems. We also ensured that the integrity between the data sets by validating it between systems were indeed the utmost importance. Also, we also had to ensure the flawless connectivity between the different servers, that is AI server, the external FTP folders through firewalls, and connectivity to external database residing on a separate server using JDBC connectivity. We also identified and also learned about different error handling scenarios beyond the standard errors, as well as determining when these errors need to be synced back to Salesforce system at various stages in the integration process. Wow, so there was a lot to overcome for this project. With that said, what went well? Well, we were successfully able to transmit data between all three systems through a single integration point which that being jd edwards orchestrator studio acting as the middleware we're able to move manage and pull images from salesforce stage them into an ftp location and then they were able to be used and visible on the customer web portal that sat on top of that sql database so the customers were able to see those images we pulled from salesforce in their customer portal we also were able to use all the standard JD Edwards functionality and business functions within the studio to validate and synchronize data between JD Edwards and Salesforce. So all the standard validation of the data was happening during service order and sales order processing, master data creation, and for the text and media attachments. 
We also were able to remove and reduce the amount of interaction J.D. Edwards had for their transactional business processes. Salesforce was driving the transaction entry. All the transactions were entered into Salesforce and automated um, entry of those orders into J.D. Edwards was happening through this integration. This allowed for us to have J.D. Edwards as their, their main source of truth for all of master data because that was getting sent up to Salesforce and it was maintained within JD Edwards. Uh, the error handling, we were able to use the standard JD Edwards um, errors from the data dictionary that occurred during your typical order processing and um, send those errors to Salesforce for users to, uh, to manage and mitigate. But where we didn't have standard errors, we were able to create custom errors that were business process specific where the errors in JD Edwards may not have been as detailed enough, we were able to refine and customize those errors and display them in Salesforce as well, again, so to let the business users react to them and correct whatever issues there were. Finally, we made a lot of efficiency gains in the business processing for sales and service and master data. There was less clicks, there was less time it took to create these orders and send them over to JD Edwards. There was no swivel chair um, entry where we had to do it in Salesforce and then the JD Edwards it was pretty efficient across the board to get the orders from Salesforce to JD Edwards. In summary, the ability to use the SQL libraries in the Orchestrator Studio's Groovy script is a powerful tool to perform database updates and queries. This is simply one use case where our team has been able to integrate multiple solutions using Orchestrator Studio as the middleware. And the great thing is, is that the Orchestrator Studio comes with your install of JD Edwards as part of the tool set. So there's really no need to purchase any other additional middleware. So how can Grant Thornton help your team? We offer multiple services to assist with your JD Edwards install or implementation, anything from a multiple day orchestrator training session to optimizations and enhancements of your current install, and even a full blown JD Edwards implementation. Feel free to reach out to us via our emails here or follow the link below to our LinkedIn pages. Thank you for your time.